Good morning brothers and sisters and welcome to our reading of the Chronicles of the Book of the Children of Aranach. Uh, I'm just going to say an opening prayer. Loving Creator God, how should I? We thank you for, for your love and we ask that your spirit would be with us as we read from this scripture from the restored branch uh, which was brought forth using the hand of Matthew Gill and Philip Gill and David Roth and we pray that we can get something from you Lord open our hearts and minds so that we can take in what we're reading in in chapter 7. This week we've remembered those that lost their lives in wars for us and uh it was Good Remembrance Day service at St. Bartholomew's Church in Claycross and lots of people there. And uh, we remember the dead and lots of poppies and placing the poppy wreaths on the stand. We thank those people that did that. So Lord, we come unto you and we ask you to join us as we read these scriptures. And I say these things in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Okay, brothers and sisters, as we get to uh, chapter 7, three righteous brothers are chosen. Three righteous brothers are chosen. And it's a very short one. Again, so... Here we go with chapter 7. Zionak was not just a prophet, he was a leader unto the people. And his name was on two, was of two names, and the first name was Zionak. But the people did not call him Zionak, but they instead chose to call him Ammonak, for Ammonak interpreted means mighty leader and ruler of of men but for the sake of this record Jaranak will refer to him as Zionak for Zionak was the first name given to him by his parents and by that of the Lord. Zionak was a great man and a great prophet and the sixty fifth year of the people being on the land he called for a great council and he called for all the elders and all the high priests to gather and they all came and gathered in the chamber of the temple, the very chamber in which I now sit and compile this record for it is mighty, a mighty chamber, the only place left in the holy house of the Lord that I may be safe. And the chamber was mighty chamber, full of seats and paintings and all of the wonders and wonderful things of God. For the people were very blessed of God. And they gathered elders and high priests of the people of Aranak were gathered and seated in the chambers. And Zionak sat in the high seat. And beside Zionak was his two counsellors. Bridenak and Shiblinak and they were the counsellors who with Zaranak oversee the running of the country and they sat before and gathered high priests and elders. In the centre of the room on the floor of the chamber was the sign of the human and Fumman and all who wished to speak before Zion, Zionak, and the count, country, and the church, for by this time the people who formed themselves into a church, so that they might worship the Most High God. Now anyone who wished to address Sharonak had to first stand in the centre of the Urim and Fomon, now behold, all the elders and the high priests were gathered 
in the council chambers and were beginning to be murmuring and chattering coming from among them as to why they were gathered. So it was that Zynak stood and walked into the centre of the great seal and stood before the gathered high priest and elders and said, Behold, you have been called to this council chamber because I have summoned you and the Lord commanded it. For I am I not this, for am I not his prophet? Was I not anointed by Sharonat? Am I not God's mouthpiece? Have I guided our people in righteousness for many years? Behold, I have news for the council that has come from the very throne of the Lord itself. We are not alone upon this land. And this is the reason that the Lord has commanded the council to meet, that we may discuss as men of God that we should do ab about this news. Now sitting in the council were three young men, and they were descendants of Hajanat, and the same Hajanat that was the mouthpiece of Sharonat. And these three young brave men were of mighty structure. They were great hunters for people, and they were well known by the people of the great of the great skill with the bow and their faithfulness with the Lord. And they were indeed the very descendants of Hajanat, and they were moved by the Spirit to go forth and find the people of Zionat had spoken of and take to them the gospel of the Most High. The elders of the descendants of Hajanet stepped up and walked forward onto the seal of the Urim and Fun, and he stood as if it had been encircled about by the host of heaven, and the willingness of his spirit shone forth for all to see. As he began to speak, the room fell, fell silence, and the words that had spoken filled the room, and the Spirit of the Lord shut the mouth of the deltas, for this young man's name was the very name of his ancestor. His name was Hajanat, and all the days of his life he lived as the Lord wished, for his name was considered a reminder to him of the Lord of the great work that the Lord had given his forefathers to do. And he spoke, saying, My name is Hajanat. I am the, the descendant of the same Hajanat that spoke for the prophet Sharonat. And I have played unto the Lord those many days to be able to stand before this council and tell you of the things of my heart. For the Lord has revealed to me in a dream that there are people north of this great city who were also brought to this land by the power of the Lord. And myself and my brethren wish to go and seek them out and bring them to find to our city and among the people so that we may join together and become one people. When Hajanak had finished speaking to the council, the council was silent. During this silence, Zainak stood forth and walked forward unto the Umram and Fon and took hold of Hajanak and kissed him on both cheeks and declared him worthy of the Lord. And he also declared Hajanak's brethren worthy to go forth on their mission to find the people of the north and bring them to the people of Aranak so that they may be joined as one people on the face of the land. Now the council that was called went on for many hours and the discussions and pleadings 
unto the Lord were great. And Zion oversaw all these things, for he was the great man and a great leader. So we've come to the end there of chapter 7. And uh, so we could see there in that chapter that some descendants of Hajanak, one with the same name as Hajanak, came forth. These young men who were strong with the bow. And they they went out on a mission. And uh, in the LDS church, uh, young men go out on a mission. So I could see uh, a bit of that coming in, that you can go on a mission. So, and... Uh, that they trusted in the Lord when they go out on a mission. So many elders of the Church of Jesus Christ, the Latter-day Saints, go on a mission. I, I've never been on one, but I really feel for those those uh, elders and, and sisters as well that go out on a mission, that um, they're safe and we pray that they will be safe and uh, yeah, we thank you for that, and uh, it'd be good to know the rest of the story, what happens uh, as these young men, descendants of Hajanat, go out to meet the people, other people of England. So I guess they're going to bump into Lionak and, and his people. So Lord, we pray that your spirit will be with us for the rest of the week. I've got some people to pray for. I can't make them prayer meeting tonight. I'm really sorry because uh, I I have a meeting with Community of Christ and we pray that goes well. And um, at this time, I'm remembering Anne Worth, a, a church family member I know from Community of Christ, and our da daughter Claire. There, Anne's husband and Claire's dad passed away yesterday. David Worth and we just think of them at this sad time and send our hugs and prayers to them and Lord you'll, you'll be with them you guide them and help them Lord also this weekend with Community of Christ we've got the youth coming uh, they're coming Friday night We pr and they're actually staying in the church and we pray that they will be safe and, and that they will provide good ministry for us on the Sunday. God, I thank you for the fellowship of Christ and uh, I thank you in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. So, Lord, if you want, people, if you want to know about the fellowship of Christ, just look at the, uh, the website and you can get details of things that are going on. So, uh, hopefully, David will put the, the link... Uh, to the website and also my email address on here so you can e email take care god bless and shalom <laughs>